What is up, all you sexy nerds? I am Wildfire One. You are listening to and watching Nerds New Sexy Entertainment, the podcast. We are on episode one nineteen, and with me today is Grizzly McBee. What's up, y'all? A frozen Grizzly McBee. Yeah, a frozen Grizzly. The, the person, the person that's not so frozen is Ice Cold Nine Sixty. Yep, and Grizzly McBee, as usual, is having a little just a little bit of technical a issues. Li- a little bit. A wink, wink, nudge, nudge. I think he's frozen again. Move, Grizz. No, you're moving. Fucking okay, you're good. Alive, you're good. Grizz. You're good. You, you were standing <laughs> way too still. We're talking about random stuff today. We're just going to bullshit and have a little fun here. But one of the things we were going to talk about was, uh, I guess there's some news on GameStop going on. And I know we had a podcast about that, I don't know, what, a year ago? Maybe less? I know all. We called this shit. Fuck we totally, you, GameStop. We, we totally yeah, called was it. Was it about like what seven months ago? It might have been. It feels. The, it was, like, I no, think forever. it was the beginning of the season. You might be right. It feels like forever it may, ago. It might even be the end of last season. Okay, well let's talk about this. Let's get it. Let's get into the meat. The meat and potatoes of this. Um, GameStop. GameStop's been pretty bad. There's been some news on them recently about. I guess they mm-hmm. lost a lot of money. Oh yeah, um, this last quarter, or yeah, last quarter, uh, they're ending the quarter with four hundred and fifteen point three million dollars in losses. And that's just and a quarter altogether. How yeah, much that's, is that's it? That's just a fun quarter. They're also uh, going to close as many two hundred stores by the end of this year. That's that sucks. Like that's a lot of games not being sold. And again, we and I want to say about we called it, it last year yeah. because. We did it like November. For the quarter ending in March 2019, GameStop reported a sales decline of 13.3%, as well as their stock price going down 40% in one day. Now, the reason they're missing out wow. on all this money is basically what we said the, when we talked about it. Uh, when we talked about the podcast. Um... We talked about it on the podcast last time. They're based. It, I, I'm. I'm still. I'm still going with it. They're, I'm blaming like <laughs> digital sales, PlayStation Network. You know, yep. all that PlayStation, stuff. PlayStation, Microsoft, online. Well, that's where, that's where Amazon. The games, GameStop can still sell digital codes. Amazon. I know. I know the two around me still sells uh, digital codes. Yeah, so. but you still have to go in to buy it. Well, not not really. You can still go on their site and buy it too. Well, you can. You can go on their website. And I I, I want to say this. I'm going to make a prediction right now. I think that in the long run, that's what they're going to do. They're just going to have a website mm-hmm. where they're going to sell all this shit because that is what is going on. That's what's working now. Like the the days of going in and asking them for a game is going to come to an end. They're going to, and the, you know, and that, it's kind of sad because I do like that physical interaction. What kills that physical interaction is what we said in that first podcast. Oh, would they're you like employees. to buy? Yeah, would you like to buy this? Would you like to buy that? <coughs> the, the fact that they're shoving, like, sales down your throat. And when I'm in there just to buy a game or, oh, you know. It's their policy. Like pro, they're pro bullshit, too. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Like, I'm sorry, I don't want a pro subscription to a uh, company that's probably not going to be here for another year or two. Mm-hmm. I don't, well, I have, I have, I have a pro account, which I've had since I've worked with Grizz, you know, even probably before that. It, it was, uh, it was profitable in its own way. It was very cool. You made points, and you can mm-hmm. still do that. And I think that that's what they're going to do. They're going to do it online. It's just going to be, oh, so, excuse me, just so online. out of the 200 stores they are closing... 180 of them are actually underperforming. So, out of 5,830 locations worldwide, about 95% of them are still profitable. So they're they're still doing something right there. I think it's just more. It's easier for people to get stuff online. For me, I, I'd re- much rather do that than go through the hassle of, oh, would you like to buy this? Would you like to get the 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 pro subscription? Would you yeah. like to? So. You know, and and I'm an introvert. I'm finding out there's more and more people like me out there, to where they don't want to be yeah. harassed. They don't want to deal with people. So what they do is they'll they'll just buy it online. Actually, and it's so much there easier. Is, there's a correction. The total loss was four uh, four hundred fifteen million. Uh, the quarter was thirty two million. That's, That's still a shit ton of money, though. No, it's a shit ton of money. And then I think I think altogether there was like a. I want to say they lost a, like over a billion at one point, didn't they? I can't remember for a life. It's okay. I remember reading something about online about it, but that's a lot of money. I don't care if it's millions or billions. It's still a lot of money. Like, 
Yeah. I can live yeah, off eight million. Uh, one good thing that is kind of hurting them uh, is like they have too many copies in one game. Like for example, Destiny Two. They have potentially eighty or so Destiny <coughs> Two copies. It shouldn't be fucking you know full price or half price. It should be about fifteen dollars for a copy. Well, yeah, and we've talked about how greedy they get and how bad it is, and uh, you know how much they give you like three bucks for a copy of a brand new game that's they're selling for oh, sixty yeah. bucks, or, or and then turn it, and then turn it over 15. for twenty dollars or more. Yeah. Or uh, a friend of mine just recently tried to sell his Nintendo Switch when people wouldn't come and buy it. He went to GameStop, and they offered him so it was Nintendo Switch with the dock, a shit ton of accessories, a shit ton of games, about five to six hundred dollar value. GameStop offered him seventy five dollars for the full thing. When a, when a Nintendo Switch alone is like three hundred bucks, I get their policy. I understand why they're doing it, but at the same time, it's it's shysty. You don't bite the hand that feeds you. We're literally selling you a product to get money. It's got again. I'm gonna it it's that podcast is kind of what we said during that podcast is coming to fruition. Like yeah, it looks like GameStop doesn't have much longer to go. Now, we'll, we'll say this. I, th- I want to say GameStop has maybe a good five years left. Oh, yeah. Maybe. 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 A good yeah. five years left. And I hate to say it because they're going to go the way of, of, you know, Blockbuster and like EB that. Games. Like that EB Games. Well, to be fair, Blockbuster did fucking <coughs> go with their, what most of its partners said. Well, when I say it's going the way of, ga- of, of, uh, blockbuster is that something better came out and they didn't they oh, didn't yeah. acclimate quick enough f- so they can well, live on. The, the only difference between GameStop and Blockbuster is GameStop's going to completely dis- disappear, and the one Blockbuster is still in Alaska yep. that is still thriving. Yep. People are probably going to it just to fucking like, oh, I went to a Blockbuster. Dude, there's people from from like northern Canada going to Alaska to rent movies. And games. 2011, when the blockbuster here actually shut down, uh, I went in there and I bought, what was it, like Halo Reach. It was brand new at the time, so yeah, I bought it for like fucking five dollars there. It's going to be sad. I mean, I think it's going to be a sad day to see when, when uh, GameStop finally goes belly up. Um, yeah, because that, that, that there is... Uh, it's the end of a generation. It, yeah, definitely. Much like Blockbuster was in a generation. Mm-hmm. Uh, what do you guys think? Do you guys think that uh, GameStop's going to be around past five years? Do you guys think that they're going to be... No. If they, if they get their heads out of their asses and actually appease to the customers, I say they have at least seven years. But if the, the track that they're going, I say at most three. Or if they get something, like, if they think of something out of the blue, like, out of the box. It, it's good luck with that, though. Yeah, it, I, I think that what's going to happen is if GameStop is going to survive, they're going to go completely digital online. Yeah. And, and do, may, or maybe do an Amazon service to where they where they send it send you the game. You know, kind of like a Gamefly kind of thing. I think that that's Gamefly's a possibility. Gamefly's still around, too. Yeah, but GameStop's still going to charge way too freaking much for all of their shit. Oh, oh that'll God, kill them. Yeah. And that one of the good things about GameStop is is it's not just games. They they sell all sorts of nerdy little things too. You know, so. merch and yeah. Fucking That's why all those stores are profit- profitable, not because of their gaming shit, but because of it's all their nerd stuff, all, yeah. the, all their their merchandise. So, what do you guys think as viewers? You viewers, what do you guys think? Do you guys think it's gonna go down? You know, do you, what do you? Let us know. Let us and know if what you, you work think. for GameStop, please let us know when they close. <laughs> <laughs> right. Tell us all their secrets. Well, you know, you could also probably, without getting fired or sued, uh, tell, tell us some uh, interesting horror stories that GameStop forced you to go through. I think I, I had a fr- we had a friend of ours named Uno that did something like that. Uh, <laughs> one of the one of the earlier uh, seasons that we did, and it was kind of funny. He said he he, he said there was like some stinky people that came in, and I think uh, I think even Gambit told us a few horror stories in the past. He couldn't call. He couldn't say oh, GameStop. Gam- Gambit loves talking shit about GameStop. Oh yeah, Gambit. Oh yeah. When GameStop, like, when it's gone, Gross. do you guys think that there's gonna be like a ga- like an employee riot where everyone's trying to like they're gonna be taking everything? Oh, yeah. Dude, 
Yeah, like... <laughs> There's going to be people just, like, breaking windows and going in like it's the, the, the live, anarchy. I, yeah, GameStop's going down, and it, it's just a matter of time. We'll see. They're losing so much money. It's been... It's it's been a long time coming. Um, that's what happens when you're at the top of the game, though. And they've been they've been at the top of the game for a while. Oh, it's just, yeah. It just takes an innovative mind to come up with a better solution, and that's what happened with these with these like GameFly and where you can order stuff online. Everything's going to be digital. The days of holding a game in your hand physically is coming to an end. I mean, there's st- there's going to be ways of getting them. Don't get me wrong. eBay, you know, Amazon, and all that and stuff like that. Even maybe online GameStop. Mm-hmm. So moving on from from the bad or the good or maybe even the ugly, because that can be all three. Uh, let's 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 go to some nerd chat. Let's talk about you know, let's talk about some stuff that's coming up. Because you know, my favorite holiday is right around the corner. Mine is um. Let's see. What's the date today? I have no clue. I haven't even looked. The seventeenth. Oh, okay, so on the 20th of September is National Kick a Ginger Day. Is National what? Where the fuck Kick do you g- come up with these holidays, man? It's what National the fuck Kick is wrong ginger with day. you? Hold on, I gotta... Kick a Ginger Day. Yeah, look that up, Ice Cold. Because yeah, National that... National Kick yeah. a Ginger Day. September 20th. In, in the future, it will be called... Uh, it'll be two holidays in one. It'll be... National Kick a Ginger Day and um, Natural Selection Day. Because okay. isn't the 20th when uh, this, everybody's this... supposed to raid Area 51? Oh, God, yes! Oh, well, let's talk about that for a second. <laughs> let's, let's talk about that for a second. Because remember how big that was on the internet? No one fucking cares all of a sudden. The Area 51 raid. See, what? You, know, you know why nobody cares all of a sudden? Because people aren't that stupid. No, some YouTuber has decided to rent out a whole area out there. Isn't that from, from Bakersfield? The, the guy from Bakersfield? Like, No, yeah. I, I don't know. There's, yeah, but, the, um, the guy that started it, from according to the internet, from what I know, it is from yeah, the, Bakersfield. The guy that started it, yeah, no, but there's, there's a YouTuber who rented a whole freaking area out there for a quote-unquote music festival the same day as the raid. Of course, There's people want to get like vendors. People are gonna want yeah. music when they're getting shot at. Of course, I want music when I'm, you know. Now, now, fucking the thing is, you know, all the five hundred thousand plus people that said they're gonna go to, how many of them are really gonna go pay for a fucking ticket just to go? To the <coughs> I'm, I'm not sure or, where you got although, the five hundred thousand because there was close to two million people that well, said the, that they when, were going to attend. <laughs> Yeah, well, I, I, what I'm talking about when I first looked at it, I was, this was before Facebook finally took down the page. Uh, yeah, it was that two million. <laughs> but who in their right mind would either get a loan? Like, a way to do it would be get a loan instead of having to spend your own money to go, you know, ultimately die. But oh, who oh yeah, you're not coming back alive. Money? No. no. Okay, so these people don't that the military are going to shoot their own citizens. Guess Did what, I, motherfuckers? Well, even if you the go United, in and make it, what are you bringing out? What We don't know what the fuck's in there. The United States Air Force released a, a public documentation saying that they are trained and will shoot on site for trespassers. They it's, released- it's a secret government military facility. Try breaking into a not-so-secret like, uh, government military facility and see how like, well that goes. Um, um, like, Mr. Beast went there, and he camped out there, but he camped out at a safe zone. He didn't go past the sign where it says, you will be shot. No, yeah. he stood there, it, it, and he walked They didn't try going, back. and they didn't actually go onto the base property. I'm just wondering how many stupid people are going to try to live stream this shit. On live stream. Oh, a lot. I'm going to be watching a bunch of them. Guys, for the love of God, take, take it from us. Don't do it. Don't. Just don't. Just don't. There's some things we um, don't need to know about. There's some things we did. You know what? Let the government have their secrets. I don't care. Like, let me be the voice of reason here. Don't go into... Don't put your life on the line. Like... And, and you can't blame the military people because all they're doing is their job. They're, mm-hmm. they're sitting there to make sure you don't get in. There's a reason they don't want you in. Maybe it's something that it's going to hurt your health. It doesn't matter what's inside. 
If you go out and put E.T. in your fucking pocket, it's, you don't, you might get like a space, you might get space aids. You don't okay, know. Look, but you go to Area 51 and you somehow get in, you're going to wind up in the Upside Down. You're going to wind up in a fucking cage in Russia. Don't fucking do it. All right? Be a medican. That's all I'm saying about that. Oh, he's not wrong, you know. One thing, one thing I find funny about this is somewhere out there that had to be a general that had to be brief on what the fuck a Naruto run is. Because oh, they're talking about Naruto running in there. I heard about that. <laughs> what, what's a Naruto run? What's, what's a Naruto <laughs> run? Who the fuck is Karen? <laughs> Who's Kyle? And now let's look at it from the other side. I'm I'm very big on being empathetic. And, yeah, imagine look, imagine you're military, you're military police and you have to you have to do your job, man. You have to. Yep. If you're you're getting paid to protect, and these guys are trained to, to do what they have to do, and that means if they it, have it, to take your life, they will. They either will. shoot them down and live with it on your conscience. Or don't do it, disobey orders, and be thrown into some fucking random Russian prison. So one way or another, you're fucking your life up and someone else's life up. So how about think for think about you know the whole everyone, not just yourself or what all these other dumbasses want. If I would, if I was the man behind the gun and I had to defend this area, just because there's like I don't know, we'll say thousands running at me. That's a that's a lot of that's a lot of mental fucked upness co coming later on. That's that's enough of the, uh, for for that. That, that. I'm glad you guys brought that up because we never really talked about that. we never really well, got to go over. Wild, it. I'm not uh, on that note. Wild, I'll be right back. <laughs> well, let's talk about some stuff. Like I said, ho you know, my favorite holiday is coming up. Halloween. Well, we've got some plans for that. Uh, we're going to be doing some more games from the crypt. Games of the Crypt is coming back. Uh, last <laughs> um, last year, didn't I, I? I had plans to do it last year, but some real life, like all really kinds of stuff bad happened. shit yeah. happened, and uh, yeah, it was it was pretty bad. It was last um, minute, and then we I had to, we had to kind of go through that and, and figure it out, and so uh, with well, this year we already got stuff recorded, we got stuff set up. We're just gonna do the we're, live action. We're kind of on the ball this year. We're gonna we're gonna be doing the intros and everything here coming up pretty quick. That way. We just gotta, you just gotta post it and call it good. Uh, we got a few other plans for October. Uh, a lot of scary games. It's funny because I played a game recently that I wasn't even thinking of using it in the game from the crypt. And when I played it, I was like, hmm, okay. And it wasn't long gameplay either. It was a, uh, it's kind of like one of those games where you choose where you go and what you do. And 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 I chose wrong apparently. Like. It yeah. ended horribly. November, I, True's going to do something for us. Uh, I've been talking with him about that. There's a few other things okay. going on. So uh, we got plans. Episode 20 is right around the corner. Which, 120, yeah. Big Boss episode, the, uh, you know, season, season finale. Because Season 6, already done. Man. I know, it's been six seasons. We're, yeah. I mean, 120 episodes. It's, yeah, we've come a long way. Like, we went from just audio to video, and now we're, you know, we did skits, and we're... Live stream podcast? Oh, and Man. yeah, that was a good, that's a good <laughs> segue. So, yeah, 120, just so you guys know, 120 is going to be a live stream. Episode 120 is, is going to be live streamed on Twitch and YouTube, so you guys can catch us there, and that'll be, that'll be really fun. Uh, we're, yeah, um, it's gonna. Uh, we already we already get figured out the uh, topic for episode one twenty, and some of us are in the process of watching it. One episode to go. <laughs> one episode to go. Yeah. Et was a fucking Jedi. Uh -huh. You know that, right? Oh yeah, yeah. I I, I know where you're going, but go on. <laughs> so, in um, one of the Star Wars movies, when they're in the the big chamber, you see Et looking creatures there. 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 I, I remember know. that, yeah. Um, and then, and then in ET you see, and then in ET he sees a little figurine of Yoda and recognizes and it. and recognizes it, yeah. And like, then when they're walking around on Halloween, he sees a kid dressed and says, "You know, friend, friend, yes." And then he can use the Force and make fucking bikes fly. It's a fucking Jedi. I can't argue that logic. Episode one twenty is going to be probably what our second live podcast. Uh, yeah. Uh-huh. It was our first yep. one Second was life. when I was still on the old internet. And yep, ugh. yep. <laughs> I mean, it worked uh, out fine until we had, like, four people on. I'd um, like to be, be able to do it on. It's going to be a different setup because it's going to be 
Oh, one camera. Ooh. Oh, that's right, because you're going to be here. Because I'm going to be at your place. <laughs> yeah. And yes, drinking will be involved. And, uh... Shit, answers. so I should fly, I should fly out there then. Yeah, it'll be, it'll be fun. Uh, you'll definitely, they're definitely, being live, you'll be able to hear us a little more on the live side. Uh, off the chain, yeah. Off the chain, yeah, completely uncensored. And, uh, which, I, not that we're really censored to begin which with. Which is why we will not be doing it on Facebook. <laughs> Look, last oh, year he had to dress up as fucking Wonder Woman. You know what? Though, that's I don't think that's as bad as Gambit being Elsa. Yeah, no, he didn't dress. He didn't up. even he dress up as thing. Elsa. Gambit let us down. He looked like then three websites for that blue dress, and I found hey, I found so, it just um, the other day by accident. That was hilarious. That happened. We can't. You know what? I, I I lost a bet because of lag and bullshittery. But oh, I yeah, stayed... yeah, blame, blame the lag. And the no, bullshittery. Ask, ask, ask Wild. He even it was my old internet. Was editing, when he was editing, there was lag like crazy, and I was answering first. Well, you are also a really sore loser. <laughs> a really sore loser that still did... You still lost, did what you said you were going to do. I still did what I said I would do if I lost. Let's talk about when we went to buy the stuff. Let's 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 tell everyone oh, that story. Dude, there were like fifteen of us, and we decided to go to Walmart because we oh, didn't have everything we needed. There, we, we wanted we had to because we made that that outfit from like more or less scratch, right? That day. So the only thing we had was like the the corset because it was our buddy's <laughs> wife's um, from her Halloween costume yeah. the year before. The only thing is, is it didn't fit, so we had to get string to make it bigger. <laughs> and that was the original reason why we went to Walmart, because we needed to get that was string. Was to get string. Yeah. And we walked in, and we're like, hmm, what else would go good with this costume? We were in Walmart for three and a half fucking hours. Checking out the Halloween stuff, looking at, like, decorations. Anything in Halloween. So Golden then duct tape. everyone's like, hmm. Let's go see if there's any anything in the women's section. So I decided, yeah, not going to fucking happen. I'm going outside. <laughs> Needless to say, I got drug over to the women's section and, uh, and us. was told to go into the fitting room and try it on. <laughs> What were in you trying on? I, this is the most important in the part. Women's fitting room. This is the most important part. What were you trying on? Girls' underwear. <laughs> Just under your breath. We, yeah, we had. Well, he had to. He we had to get something that like you know looked like uh, Wonder Woman's like I don't know booty shorts. And the closest thing we could find, we all looked and and we even asked Chris, what would work for you. And he, we chose like, I guess maybe the. They're kind of sexy, but they were also very fitting. I, I wonder what was going through the mind of the associates there. Oh well, so oh, we'll, that, we'll get that, to that. Oh, That's the funny that part. Old lady thought it was fucking hilarious. <laughs> thought it was fucking hilarious, dude. I come walking out right, and I'm, uh, I put them on over my my boxer briefs, mm-hmm. right. But they're still real form fitting, so like you can see my nuts, you can see my dick, like and, uh, like. So I come walking out, and she looks, she goes, "Oh, Wonder Woman for Halloween, huh?" And we all started dying. I was like, "Yep, gonna go put my pants on." He I looked like he had a re- he looked like he had a reverse hemorrhoid. It was, it was oh, hilarious. Like, I had I had to tuck like crazy. So, so we we all that happens. We get everything we need. We got like the stars. We got all this other stuff. Uh, I, it wasn't all that expensive, I don't think. Was it, Grizz? <coughs> no, I think all together it was like thirty bucks. But we we get to the freaking register, and you know all the girls are there with me Everyone's and the laughing. guys and everything. We're they giggling. all start laughing. I turn around. They're all fucking gone. Oh no no we're we're well the girl no, most of them they, gone. they had gone all the way around to the other side of the freaking register like down at the end 
And I was standing there going, um... Yeah, in line. And this was a busy Walmart. In line, I pointed this guy. I pointed him and I go... Because she was ringing up the panties. And I go, those oh, yeah. are for him! <laughs> those are for him. Just loud as shit. And Every- you got all these people going... Everyone starts yeah. laughing. Like, the, the, the greeter... The people who are in line with us, the people behind us, like some Hispanic people were behind us laughing their ass off. The people with us were laughing their ass off. And, like, this guy goes, I lost a bet. <laughs> it's, yeah, then we then we, we get to the point where we got to actually put the uh, corset on him. Oh, this 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 whole, this whole, point, this whole story is going to take up most of this podcast because it's hilarious. We put the cor- corset on him, and Dr- Dredge is literally behind him with like pulling hard on these these strings that are on the back of the corset Puts his foot in the middle of my back yeah, this is actually on the and i'm like <laughs> yeah this is actually on the video he puts his foot on the middle of his back pulls and you could see like his form go <laughs> it was hilarious that's probably the fastest you've lost weight huh <laughs> it would do it no like. i didn't i didn't lose weight it just shifted I'm, dude, like my my shoulders went from like this to mm-hmm. straight straight back. Told me. We made him a. Right. We even made him a a, a little tiara out of uh, was it cardboard? Cardboard and in in the, in the uh, cardboard and duct tape. Duct tape, yeah. Because ah. we got the gold duct tape. He he wrapped his. We we made sure to wrap him carefully, but he put the little duct tape around his his arms as well. So, and you know he he. he we did pretty good for what we had, so I think I think we're good. I think this is yeah. Good. I think we're good. <laughs> I think I think I think we're ending with uh, with Grizz as Wonder Woman. That was last year. It's hard to believe that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> we well, well, we've been streaming on Twitch a lot too. I guess I could we can add that oh, into yeah. the news. Uh, me and I streamed today. Actually, we play. We've been today I, and and yesterday. 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 I've, yeah, yeah. It's that. around this time I get the itch that I want to play zombie <coughs> games. It's yeah, I really want to kill zombies in around this time now, around uh, before October and October. Uh, like around three three in the morning, you know, quote, the quote unquote witching hour. I've been wanting to play like some paranormal games. I just can't find any. Is there anything you want to say? Tune in uh, next Saturday night, um, and it will be. Saturday night when we do the uh, the live stream, yeah, we'll post it on our our all of our social media uh, Friday. All right, everyone. Once again, we thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next week on episode 120, the Big Boss episode season finale. All right, everyone. Till then, we want you to stay nerdy and stay sexy. Always.